Jacob and I made it to the first of the three fall summits. A bit of bad news. Well, good morning guys once again we are joined by Jacob for today's hiking adventure and today we are taking on a big one we're gonna go after a summit of Mount Elbert we'll tell you why that's significant in a little while but for now we better get moving let's go let's go let's go about two miles into the trail and we have hit a definitely uh, steeper section of the trail. I think it's gonna be, be like this the rest of the way up. But Mount Elbert is significant in it that it is the highest peak in Colorado and it is the second highest in the contiguous United States uh, after Mount Whitney in California. Well guys, this trail doesn't require any mountaineering skills. I mean, there are no rock scrambling or exposed areas where you might fall over the edge, but it is, it's a tough grind. Uh, we took the North Mountain Trail, which is about nine miles on the out and back, but it has 4,500 feet of climbing, and it is just a relentless climb with very few easy sections. What you see up in front of us now, it's not the top. It is the first of a couple of false summits. And if we hadn't known these were coming, it would have been a little demoralizing to think you were there, but still had several hundred more feet of climbing uh, to go. But we, you know what? We've got a beautiful day and the views are even more breathtaking than the altitude is. Um, we'll tell you a little more about Mount Albert on the way down, including some controversy and protests that are a part of its history, but for now, I'm getting a little lightheaded from talking and climbing at the same time, so I'm going to try to focus on staying conscious for now. So Jacob and I made it to the top of the first of three fall summits. We're going to stop here for just a quick bite to eat before we head on up. Uh, if you heard what I said there and caught the meaning of it, Jacob and I made it to the first of the three fall summits. A bit of bad news. Paula wasn't feeling well, um, decided to turn back about a mile ago, I think, and uh, is headed back down to the trailhead. Um, she just, I think maybe was getting a little bit of altitude sickness. Uh, just didn't feel like she was gonna be able to make the rest of the way up. So she turned back. She's got her Garmin inReach Mini with her in case she runs into any trouble. Felt like she wasn't in distress or anything. Just didn't wanna, just didn't feel up to making the climb all the way up. So we're gonna finish this up and do it for her today, and for all of you guys as well. And we'll take a little short break and get back at it. So that is the summit of Elbert. 
We are headed right there and we will have this thing done. So as Paula mentioned earlier in the episode, at 14,440 feet, Mount Elbert is the highest peak in Colorado and the second highest summit in the entire lower 48 states. But originally, Mount Massive, which is Elbert's neighbor to the north, was measured as the highest. But when the area was resurveyed, Mount Elbert's elevation was found to be several feet higher than first thought and was officially recognized as the highest peak in Colorado. Now that led to an ongoing dispute between supporters of each peak, with Mount Massive proponents building large piles of stones on the summit to boost its height, only to have those who supported Elbert to tear them down. Today, Mount Elbert is recognized as the highest peak. And Jacob and I, we've summited both of them, and they are both amazing. Uh, but we're not the only ones as about 20 to 25,000 people climb Mount Elbert each year, which is one of 53 different 14ers in the state. Well, after that little bit of history lesson, I'm eager to get on down to the trailhead and check in on Paula. So we're gonna run as much as we can the rest of the way, even though after hiking and running Hope Pass yesterday, uh, with its 2,500 feet of climbing, our legs, they're kind of shot. If you ever watched that episode, I hope you'll check it out too. Let's get on down. We did it! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Another 14 to die. Heck yeah! Well, after our time on the trails today, we are quite hungry, so we drove to Greco's Pasteria in Frisco to get our Italian on. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Oh yeah, always ready. I'm always ready for Italian, you know that. Well, that's a consensus, so let's get started eating. All right, Jacob, what'd you get? I got penne bolognese. That looks delicious. All right, Paula, what did we get? We got the chicken parmesan. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> So good.
that hits the spot. <laughs> How is it, people? Great. So my parents always taught me that dinner is not complete without dessert. So we ordered the monster chocolate chip cookie. It's a chocolate chip cookie with hot fudge, caramel, and one scoop of vanilla gelato. Mm, so good. Mission accomplished. Well, Greco's Pasteria in Frisco was amazing, wasn't That's it? Good. Certainly lived up to the hype of the online reviews. And so if you find yourself in the Frisco area, we highly recommend that you give it a try. It has been awesome the last few days having Jacob with us on our adventures this time. But it's time to wrap up this episode. That's it for our mission. What's your mission? This is just as hard going down this section. It's not as hard. So we drove to Fris Frisky. That is a mission accomplished. Uh, Jacob, notice you don't have a plate. I mean... I know you're hungry and everything, but did you eat the entire plate? Well, Greco... <laughs> Greco's? Greco's. This is... <laughs> really? Truck? You're too loud. Stop it. In the middle of recording. Did you see that? Well, Gre <laughs> well Greco's... <laughs> Well, Greco's Pasta <laughs> Well, hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun-filled adventures with you guys. But our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you. One of the ways we do this is through a short faith-based thought for the day that I write. They take about a minute to read each day. They're free and they're available at finishlinefaith.com or facebook.com forward slash finishlinefaith. I hope you'll take a look.